Guardians! What's up, everyone? This is your main man, Sly, here with everyone's favorite time of the week. Okay, well, everyone's second favorite time of the week, Reset Tuesday. However, it's not just any reset. There are a bunch of things happening all around the tower today and throughout the week. So, keeping to my promise of short and sweet reset videos, let's get this biatch underway. But first, remember this? That's right, guys. Today is the day Bungie has promised to deliver everyone their shiny, brand new 320 light -like ghosts. So to all of you out there who have been stuck at the Forever 319 mark, let me be the first to congratulate you on becoming 320. All those sweaty raids and PvP matches finally paid off. On top of a lot more max like Guardians wandering around the tower, this week just also happens to be an Iron Banner week. The Salad of Lord will start off his games at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. If you want to see what the Lord of Salad will be offering this week, check out this video I made a few days ago. It highlights the weapons, armor, and stats of his items. Now, there's nothing super awesome being sold this week, but if the right rolls appear on the rocket launcher, it could be the next great PvP heavy. We'll have to wait and see. I will upload a short clip of the weapons and perks of each as soon as Saladin opens his doors. So if you're stuck at school or work and curious about them, don't worry, your boy Sly has got your back. Just keep your phone or tablet on hand, and shortly after the doors open, I will upload you the goods. Alright, well let's get on with the rest of the resets. First, let's check out the smaller things and head over to the reef. Our sexy one-eyed lady Petra has new bounties for the week, and currently the only way to get keys outside of the Prison of Elders itself. So if you're looking for the perfect role her benevolent sniper rifle, which by the way can still be used in all crucible matches besides trial and iron banner, or perhaps a little nostalgia, then make sure you grab these bounties and get them completed. So looks like this week Pretty Petra has close to the same one she had last week. First up is to kill the Baroness, then we have kill 12 consumed or named enemies on Mars, then the final bounty, kill 100 taken. Oh, also, on your way out, don't forget to grab your weekly treats from Varix. He always bribes you with something useful that are worth stocking up on. It works based on Prison of Elders rank. The higher the rank, the better a reward, so make sure you grab those before leaving. So, on our way out to the tower, let's stop by the Dreadnought. If you're still looking for a few calcified fragments, remember that a handful of them are actually tied up into the Court of Oryx itself, and this week's Tier 3, you'll be greeted by Bower. She's a pretty easy witch, all you have to do is stand underneath the light, clear adds, and whenever a shielded acolyte is killed, another light and clearing where you can then shoot from will open up. You basically just move from clearing to clearing, staying underneath the light, and that will boost your damage. The spots do disappear back to the deadly fog, so you have to keep killing acolytes in order to keep spaces open. It's a fun activity and challenging to do by yourself, but what's even better is to gain back a slot in your inventory from those damn runes. So let's leave that dungeon beast and onwards to the tower. Now sadly I checked the postmaster and the 320 ghost has not shown up yet. If I had to put a bet on it, I would guess it'll pop up around the same time Iron Banner opens its doors. Now for some reason my bounties have not showed up for Shaxx. Now I don't know if I'm actually missing something or if they're just glitched out for the week. I'll try to find out what the deal is and make sure that next week we are good to go. Now one last quick thing before we bounce about this bitch is about material trading. Once in a while a certain faction will trade worm spore for rank. It's not just Eris that does that. Last week it was Dumonaki and this week my homies over in Dead Orbit are accepting it. My hunter will be super happy that his home away from home has tons of that stuff. So if you have a raid ghost, always keep the extra worm spore extractor on. Yes, I know you get a shitload of it and it clogs up your inventory at times. But when you can just return, dump it into all your faction rep and rank up for free, what is not to like about that? Now let's head back up to orbit and check out the three things that everybody really wants to hear. Starting off with this week's weekly crucible match. Inferno is gone and its replacement is Mayhem Rumble. Now that ought to be a crazy free for all. For the first time since its debut, the Freelance playlist has taken a back seat. In fact, all Freelance game modes are absent this week in favor of Zone Control. Don't freak out, Freelance was immensely popular and I'm sure the 6v6 game type will be back in rotation next week. Now, I don't know about you all, but the Nightfall rewards were good to me last week. I mean, very good. I still seen a few ghost drops, so yes, people still got screwed. 
but I've seen more exotics last week than I have in months of weekly nightfalls. So if you haven't ran the nightfall in a while and are still missing some exotics, now is as good a time as any to get back into it. This week's nightfall leads us back into the Dreadnought to face off against Senior Darkblade. The modifiers this week aren't all that bad. Of course we have Epic, heavily shielded, highly aggressive enemies. Then Berserk, the ones that make them not flinch, no matter what. My favorite modifier, Small Arms, primary damage is increased. Then one of my least favorite, Chaff, where your radar is disabled. And remember, it's a la cool. You use your radar a lot. Then finally, it's Airborne, players deal more damage while in the air. Finally, let's talk about King's Fall. The raid has ran its full rotation of challenges and is now back to the first challenge, the War Priest. Of course, it's guaranteed 320 artifact and also another 320 heavy or special weapon could be yours by completing the War Priest this week. The challenge is that an aura holder can only grab it once. It has to be a new holder every time and most teams beat him in two passes, so it's rarely ever an issue. If this is your first attempt, check out this video I made on how to complete the War Priest Challenge. This is one of the easier challenges to complete, and you can never have too many 320 light items. So guys, jump in there, call the shots, get it done. But that's all she wrote, ladies and gents. A busy week awaits us here in Destiny, so get out there and soak up that sweet, sweet loot. <laughs> As always, guys, thanks for watching. This is my second attempt at a reset guide. So if you have any suggestions, comments, something that you'd like to see included or changed, I would love to hear about it. I'm always looking to better myself and my vid, so let me know what you think in the comments below. I do know that the Shaxx bounties aren't here. I'll try to find out by next week for sure why that is. But other than that, I hope y'all liked the video. As always, if you want to stay up to date on everything Destiny and Sly Nation, Twitter is the best place to get in touch with me. So... Head over there, follow me at Sly Nation. We are so close to 500 citizens, guys. If you watch my videos halfway reg, I'd be honored to add you into the nation. Subscribe because you want to, not because I asked, and hopefully we will see each other in the next one. Until then, happy Reset Tuesday, guys. Good luck in Iron Banner, and this is your boy Sly. Done, gone, and out.